Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to take apart your HP Envy M7 laptop. Now I'll have specifics for this laptop listed in the description below. So check that out. First, what we're going to do is we're going to flip the laptop over. Um, I recommend putting a towel down so you don't scratch it. Um, you want to release, unlock the battery, and then you want to release the battery, this one. Okay, your battery should come out. Put that aside. Don't break it. Now, these two feet right here, you're going to have to take these feet off because there are there is a screw underneath them. So, get a skinny flathead screwdriver. Okay, and get these feet off. It's a pain in the butt, but Okay, now that you have those feet off, we can start removing screws. There's two silver screws where these feet were, and there's one uh, black screw in this little uh, outcove on both sides. So what you want to do is get your screwdriver and unscrew these screws. Okay, now that you have those screws removed, there are two more screws right here, one right here, one right here, they're both black. So, unscrew those screws. Now that you have the screws undone, you can remove the feet, or these black pieces right here. So what you want to do, pick this up, you want to get your screwdriver right here, where the screw was, you can just pop it off. Oh, goodbye. Um, you don't want to have this fall on the floor, obviously, so you don't break them. So we're going to do the other thing, the same thing with this other one right here. It's a little tricky getting it underneath the uh, uh, little alcove here. Let's see, okay, that's off. Um, now you have two more screws on both sides. Actually, you have one screw, okay, you have one right here, one right here, and also these right here. So this one right here, and this one right here, you need to remove those. Now that you have those screws removed, you can start removing all the screws on this bottom plate. Now there will be a little silver piece of oval shaped plastic over this screw hole. Um, I've lost that, so you won't see me removing that, but keep in mind there is a piece of plastic, sticky piece of plastic over this screw hole. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, now that you have all those screws removed, you can remove your optical drive so that it's right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your fingernails underneath the little thing, the little door, Okay, you want to pull out. Okay. And it should come out like that. You want to put this in a very safe spot. Okay, now there will be two screws. One right here. And one right here. Um, you need a very small screwdriver to remove those. Um, I just left them out because they're such a pain in the butt. To take out because I take my take apart my computer so often, I just took those screws out and left them out. Okay, so now we have all the screws from the bottom out, and there's no screw underneath this. Keep that in mind. There's no screw underneath this little rubber thing. So now I have all that, all the screws removed. I flip the laptop over. If I can get it open here. Okay, now instead of removing the keyboard. You have to remove this whole top piece. This is probably the most difficult part of this. Um, you need like a credit card or something flat to get in between this line going all around the computer. It's very difficult. Um, you probably you may end up scratching the aluminum or plastic, whichever is your model. Okay, um, 
where you want to start is right here on this side. You want to push down this outer plastic and you can get your card underneath that. Then you can slide it along. Okay. You want to be careful, but also want to get everything out. I will be back. Okay, once you're finished with that, it's a pretty, um, rough fight. Um, what you want to do is you want to get another towel to place on the screen. You're going to need another towel because what we're going to be doing next is flipping the laptop on its back. Or on this side of the screen, the back side of the screen. So we don't want the, uh, aluminum to scratch the screen. So we're just going to... Do one of these. Remember, be careful. Okay, so now you want to lift this up very slowly. There are a couple cables connected under here. First, get your finger under here. There's a white thing underneath this white cable right here. You can undo that and then pull the cable out. Now, this is very difficult to see, but this is very difficult. Now, there's this one right here. You can't see that. I am so sorry. Um, there's this one right here. What you have to do is you have to lift the black tab up. This one's white and black. And lift the black tab up very carefully because if you break it, you're going to need new motherboard. It's costly. Um, okay, now if you have it up, you just take that out. Now, there are there is one more. There's two more, actually, sorry. Um, very difficult to see in here. This is very difficult. Um, I mean, it's not impossible, but it's very difficult. Okay, now there's one right down here. Um, just the same thing. Flip the uh, white tab up. You can slide that out. That one's more of a brownish, orangish color. This one right here, flip it up. Okay, now, very carefully, you can remove this top panel. Now, I'm going to show you the uh, what I was talking about. This is the brownish-orange one. This is another one back there. You see, it's going to be difficult putting it back together. You want to put this in a very safe spot so you don't scratch it. Okay, now that you have that done, you can put the laptop back up on its surface like this. Okay, you can take the towel off the screen. Um, now you have access to your motherboard. Um, so there are a couple cables you have to remove before you can remove the motherboard. Um, there's this one. Flip up the tab. Carefully. Mm. Very carefully. Okay, take that out. Take this one out. Take this one out. Um, there's also this one right here. Take this one out. This one's very short. Um, the, your speaker wire, you want to get your fingernails underneath the little connector. Push it out. If you're wondering why I have a longer fingernails, it's because of this. You're going to need fingernails or some small prying tool. Um, now, there will be a piece of tape over, knee, over these two connectors right here. You're going to be very careful removing it. Uh, okay. Take that out. Now, you can remove your display cable. Okay, this is very fragile, so you want to be extremely careful. And then you can remove your touch screen cable came with that. Um, I'm going to make sure that that's open. The touch screen cable just slides in there. So, now we can remove the hard drive. Mine had this, like, little rinky-dink piece of tape on it. I don't know if that's quite normal. Just pull it out. Okay. 
you won't always want to hold this laptop because it's going to fall if you don't because the screen is so heavy. Put your hard drive in a very safe spot as well. Um, there's also another speaker cable right here. Okay, cut that out. There's also one more cable right here you can just pull on. This is the power cable. Okay, that's out. Now there's a couple screws on your motherboard that you need to remove. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also, before you do that, you want to disconnect your Wi-Fi card antennas. And you want to disconnect your Wi-Fi card cable. I mean, your Wi-Fi card screw. I'll be right back. Now that you have all those screws removed, you can take out your wireless card. It will want to pop up. You just slightly pull on it. Put that somewhere safe. Now you can remove your motherboard. So what you want to do, now that you have all the screws removed, pop up. Okay, you have to hold the laptop too, so you have to do like this weird arm thing. Okay, pop it up. Okay, and if you did it right, there shouldn't be any cables connected to it, and there aren't. So, you have your motherboard removed. You really need to take care of that because that is very delicate. You do not want to mess that up. Um, now, you can remove the screen. There are one, two, three screws. I think four screws on this side. There are one, two, three three screws on, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five screws on this side. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to risk damaging it. Not that difficult. From here, move this, bear with me a moment here. So here you can see that's your RAM, then flip it over. Those are your connectors. You can see this is why HP laptops do not overheat anymore. This giant fan. You can see there's two heat pipes going to the uh, dedicated graphics and the CPU. Okay, that's about it for me. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment it in the uh, comment section below um thank you for watching putting it back together isn't too difficult um i'm just doing everything in reverse thanks for watching and make sure to thumb up subscribe